Agent Miller? Must be Agent Harris. We've been waiting for you. It's nice to meet you. <sighs> Got a busy day ahead of us. Let's go. I'll brief you on the way. All right. This is your first time in the field, so let me walk you through it. Okay. We're going to go in there, ask the basic questions, see what she says. Maybe look around a little bit if we can find some credibility to her calls. But what if she's telling the truth? It's not believed for him to be in the area. I think we should treat this as if it was real. We could stumble upon something big here. Follow my lead. Hello? Are you Alice? How are you? I'm Agent Miller. This is my partner, Agent Harris. We're here to speak with you about the messages you left. Okay. May we come in? Come in. Would you like to tell us what happened on March 22nd? Mm, March 22nd? Yes, that's the date of your first message. I was walking my dog, Capo, and... Capo? Yeah, I, I thought your dog's name was Charlie. Yes, Charlie. I was walking my dog, Charlie, when I saw someone outside. What exactly did you see? Um, person, a very tall man. It was looking for something. Uh, what would make you say that? He was scanning around. Once he saw me, we stared at each other for a couple seconds. Went about what he was doing. I was frozen in fear. When you went home, what did you do then? I don't remember. I can't remember. And then the next event, you mentioned a light. Could you further explain that? A singular light. It came through the window of my home. It was like a headlight or a flashlight. At any point, did you feel like you were in danger? No. In your voicemail, you, you mentioned some research. What exactly did you find? I did. Oh yeah, I did. I didn't find anything. Interesting. Could you give my partner and I a minute? We just need to go send a quick message. Sure. Hey, uh, what's going on? Well, maybe she's telling the truth. I just got a text from Agent Williams. It says they got our fugitive on a door cam about 20 miles from here. Well, well, yeah, that's good. Uh, I think we should ask you a few more questions. I don't think she's saying exactly what she knows. Well, let me teach you something. In the field, tons of people say 
they see most wanted fugitives because they want the reward money. But the truth is only about two to five percent of the cases us field agents get ever lead to valid information. But I don't think it's about the reward money with her. What if that two to five percent is bigger than what we let on? What if the two to five percent were in it right now? Well, thinking like that will leave you stressed. You coming in? Y yeah, yeah. We just have a couple more questions to ask you, then we'll be on our way and out of your hair. All right. You stated that you felt like somebody was watching you. What did you mean by that? I thought someone was. Maybe it was my imagination. Later on in the voicemail, there was a loud noise in the background. Then you stated that you felt like someone was outside your house. Then there was a scream, then the line went dead. I, uh, I, I sleepwalk from time to time. I probably just dreamed and called. Have you seen this man before? Does anything about him look familiar to you? I have no idea who that is. Lying to a federal agent during an investigation is a crime. You know this, correct? I think you guys should leave. I, I am sorry if we intruded on your time. Here's my card. If you think of anything else, give us a call. Is there a bathroom I can use? Yeah, it's down the hall, on the left, first door. Thank you. I'll be right back. this. What the f This one was a little too nosy. You almost lost control. Next time I'll do better. How did you not notice he had a developing heart condition? 